Hello, my name's Alicia. In this video, I'll show you how to find the type of project you wish to work on. I recommend that you pause this video from time to time as you practice these instructions on your computer. To obtain a new batch, click Find Batches on your home page. All available projects are listed on the right. You can scroll through them to pick the project you want to work on, or filter the list by entering your preferences in the left-hand panel, which is headed Refine Results. The percentage of a project that has been indexed is shown by the figure and by the sand-coloured progress bar. The red-coloured progress bar indicates how much of the project has been reviewed. In the Refine Results panel, you can make a selection in just one category or a combination of several categories. The Activity drop-down is set at Indexing by default. Click the down arrow to see what else is available to you. When you select an activity, the drop-down list closes and a search is done, also taking into account any other fields you have already completed in the Refine Results panel below. Matching projects are shown on the right. In the Search field, you can enter the type of project you want to work on by entering a keyword such as marriage or obituary or you can enter the text that you want to search for in the project titles. Click the Search button and it shows a list of matching projects. Clicking the star above the Start button to the right of a project title marks it as a favourite. Then, selecting Favourites in the panel lists the projects that you've marked. Note that the button background turns white, indicating that it's active. Click All to return to the general selection fields. To remove a project from your favourites, click the star again to clear it. Under Difficulty Level, you can indicate the level of project you want to see listed. For example, if you check Beginning, you will no longer see intermediate and advanced projects. To show beginning and intermediate projects, check both boxes. If you have a preference for records in a particular part of the world, you enter that in the location category. As you start to type, a drop-down list appears and you can make a choice. Repeat this procedure to choose multiple locations. Your choices are listed below the Location field. Click the Search button to find batches that match your preferences. The number found is shown at the top of the Results panel. Click the cross next to a choice to remove it. Should you have a preference for the languages you want to work in, you can select one or more in the Language category. Putting values in the Time Period fields restricts the projects to those that have part of their date range within the years you specify. Leaving a category blank means that your choice of project will not be restricted under that heading and will be broader. However, adding conditions in several categories means that a project has to satisfy a condition in each of those categories in order to be found. When you run your mouse over a category, you can temporarily deactivate it by clicking the cross that appears at its top right. With less restrictions, you find more results. Reactivate a category again by clicking the heading.
click the Sort By drop down to list projects by name or by difficulty level. Any at the top of the results list with a grey background are to be considered as a priority. Here, you can select how many batches you want to check out. There is a limit to the number you can have on the go at one time. Click Start to open a batch and index it. If there are categories that you want to be completed automatically in a certain way every time for difficulty level, location, language and time period, you can place them in your preferences. Click Edit Preferences. This screen opens in a new window on your browser. Click the check boxes to define your preferences for future projects. When complete, click Save Changes. The next time you enter Web Indexing and click Find Batches, you'll find that the preferences you set have become your default settings. Here are the preferences which I set. You can manually override your default settings if you wish and then click Search. You can also click Reset and it will temporarily remove all your selections and do a search. However, your default preferences are still in place and will reappear the next time you click Find Batches. A little practice on this screen and you'll find it quick and simple to open a project that's right for your experience and your time schedule. As you gain more experience, you may want to look for a greater challenge. This batch selection process makes it easy to see what else is available. In the next video, I'll select a project, open a batch and start indexing it.